Renting the perfect house only to be bitten by bed bugs in your first night sleeping there. Well, that's what three Denver roommates tell us happened during them to them during what they say was a traumatic rental experience. They are sharing their story with CBS4 investigator Katie Wise, hoping it will warn others to do their homework before signing on the dotted line. I got bit the first night. Sean Middleton couldn't believe what happened his first night sleeping in this Aurora house owned by Invitation Homes, a publicly traded company that rents out houses across the country. I woke up as soon as I got bit. I felt it. Really? It so, yeah, it hurts bad. What does it feel like? It's like a big pinch. Middleton and his roommates rented the home in early September last year. He is alive. He's not dead. After discovering the home was infested with bed bugs, they went to a hotel for several days until they say the company told them the problem was fixed. But when they came back, the bugs were still there. The next thing you know, I see one on the wall. I see one crawling out of my clothes. And at that time, you know, they, they told the invitation homes that they no longer wanted to stay at this property. Their lawyer, Jordan Thomas, says the men filed suit to get their security deposit back, but Invitation Homes countersued, asking the men to pay four months of rent, even though Thomas says the company still hadn't gotten rid of the bed bugs. Thomas says the company knew the bed bugs were in the house before renting it out to his clients. Five months prior to them moving in, they knew that there were bed bugs there and they had treated unsuccessfully three separate times. Invitation Homes would not speak to CBS4, saying it does not comment on open litigation. And I spoke to the current tenant living here. She tells me she hasn't noticed any bed bugs since she moved in in March. Meanwhile, these young men are fighting to get their money back in court, and they hope others will do more research before jumping into a new lease. All of us were forced into either a state of homelessness or home instability after all of this. And how much money we had put forth, followed by having to pay for all this out-of-pocket hotel expenses, ran us all broke. In Aurora, Katie Weiss covering Colorado First.